Hi everyone, my name is Laura and today I'll be doing a kind of fall inspired makeup look. So I don't really know what I want to do today, but I do want to use this palette that I kind of just put together of like Makeup Geek, Colourpop and MAC shadows. I'll show it to you, hold on. Probably should have had it ready, shouldn't I? Basically it's just in a Z palette and this is what all the colors look like. When I look at this, I just feel so inspired for fall. Obviously I won't be using every color here, but just kind of like these types of tones and then probably pairing it with a nice lip. I'm not really too sure what I'm gonna do, but I'm sure we'll work it out. And I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. This is one of my favorite primers. I love it for the summertime and I love it for the winter time. In the winter, it's just like such a nice hydrating kind of like product on the skin. I use about a pump and a half and I just apply it all over my face. It does improve the longevity of my makeup that I have, like my foundation and stuff. It doesn't control like oil or anything like that. It really just like hydrates the skin, improves longevity and kind of just, I guess, makes everything look a little bit nicer and less cakey. Now, I don't know if anybody else gets this, but when a mosquito bites me on my face, they turn into like these little dots and they're like really, really hard and they don't go away for about like two to three weeks. It's really, really annoying. And like no foundation like sticks to it. Recently, I've been using Dermacol. Um, this has been like going around like the internet like crazy recently, but I use Dermacol and I just apply it. I don't think I got the right shade for like my fake tan, so that's why I'm doing it now. Um, and then I can put foundation over the top to kind of equalize it. But basically it just comes in like this metal tube and I've hardly used any of this and like that's how much like air comes in the product. You kind of just need to squeeze a little bit out and then I just kind of like pat it onto where I need it. But this is the only thing that I found has actually like stuck to my skin and actually like covered up the mozzie bites. Like it's so annoying. Anyway, so for foundation, I'm gonna be using the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. I'm not too sure if it'll match me because I just have fake fresh tan on. Hopefully it does, but if it doesn't, I'm sure that I'll just mix in something else. If you are not familiar with it, it basically comes with like this giant as doe foot applicator. I feel like I need to mix it in with something else because I feel like it's just going to be a smidge too dark. So I'm going to take a little bit of my Bourjois Healthy Mix. This is the old packaging and mine has like been through like the ringer. Like the writing has like almost basically come off. I'm using the shade 51 and I'm just going to mix like a tiny little bit of that in with this one. Just to kind of lighten it just a smidge and hopefully that will work out. Probably should have mixed this before, but whatever. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of my soft ochre paint pot. This one's almost finished. Like I'm so close to hitting the bottom, but I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and put that on my eyelids. I really should be looking in a mirror, but I don't have one. Like I don't have hands for it. Now I'm gonna be using my cream contour palette. This one's from Cover Effects. This is in the shade light medium or G light medium. It's basically just got a few of their foundation, like what do you call them? cream foundations, there we go, in a palette and you can just kind of like use them. Oh my god, I'm going to use this mirror, it's a little bit bigger. Anyway, I'm going to use the shade 4 because that's what I've been using to like contour and I'm just going to use this Cover Effects brush that came with it. I think it only came with it because it was like a Christmas one, I'm not really too sure. But if you want to just know the shade in particular, it's G70 and the one next to it is G50. So I'm just going to paint that onto my skin and then the same on the other side. And then I'm also going to do my jawline as well, or what I like to think is a jawline, jawbone, just to kind of contour it out a little bit. And then I put a little bit under here. Now I'm just going to take my foundation brush and I'm just going to kind of blend everything in by just like tapping away at it. Anyway, oh my goodness, did I tell you what shade my foundation was? The Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation was in the shade... 8 Golden Neutral. Now I'm going to use the same foundation but in the shade number 4. This is in the shade Cream Whip. So I'm just going to grab a little bit. I'm just going to dab that underneath my eyes. I don't know if you can see but it is super like salmon-y tone. I always use a dry beauty blender. I never use it wet unless like I'm cleaning it and I just need to use it in a hurry. But I do prefer my beauty blenders dry. I know other people they can't live without like a wet beauty blender to do their foundation but I just it's just not for me now because that concealer isn't very or that like foundation concealer isn't very light I need to go in with a lighter concealer just to like highlight so that's what I'm going to be doing now I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Light Warm I feel like everybody uses this concealer I've only just recently started getting into it it comes with like a flat doe foot applicator and I'm just going to apply it to my face so I like to apply it to my forehead I just do like a little three and then I take it not on the um, wider side 
I take it like this on my nose and I draw a very, very thin line like that. And then just like whatever, I just put it on my chin, just three stripes. And then underneath my eyes, I like to just go in with my beauty blender, tap away any like extra buildup. And I'm just gonna go in with this concealer. Not a lot because I've already got the coverage I want. I just want it to brighten. So I'm just gonna do a few lines. So I'm just gonna grab my beauty blender. I switched to a pink one because I feel like that the other one that I used is kind of like on its last leg of being a bit too dirty. So I'm gonna switch it up to this one. You do need to work a little bit fast with this concealer though, like I must admit, because it does dry quite fast. And I'm just gonna tap it a little bit lower just so it kind of like blends in with the contour. I'm just gonna take my Maybelline Matte Maker. You can tell that I love it because this is like my third or fourth one. Like they're so good. And they don't just have like a little bit of product. Like they've got 16 grams of product. so. That's like heaps. And I'm just gonna like pack the powder underneath my eyes. But yeah, I've seen so many people like do like full looks and I've been like, oh my God, I just wanna do like a full look. While I'm here, I may as well set my eyelids as well. Um, I like to let my um, paint pot like sit there for a while just so it can like set. If it needs to crease, crease, and then I can like pick up the product. Today it hasn't really done any creasing, so that's really, really good. I'm just gonna grab a little bit more of that Maybelline powder and I'm just gonna set my eyelids. Okay, so to start off this look, I'm gonna be using the shade Malt. It's like a very, very light purpley color. It's from MAC and it's really, really gorgeous. I'm just going to be applying this kind of as like my transition color. And it does apply to the eye a little bit darker than how it does appear in the pan. And I'm just going to be using like windshield wipe emotions. Just going to drag that through the crease. Now moving on to a little bit darker of a color. I'm going to be using this shade from ColourPop. It's called Dreamboat. It looks a lot more pastel pink on camera. It is in real life like a beautiful like mauve medium shade. So beautiful. So I'm just going to take that on the same brush. And I'm just going to work it in kind of a bit lower. So kind of like through my crease. Or like my eye fold like here and I'm just using like a fluffy brush this one isn't very soft it's actually so shit I did a review of these ages ago I'll link it down below I don't even want to say the brand name oh my god I have no idea what I'm doing but yeah I'm just kind of winging it and I hate these brushes I don't want to say the brand name because I don't want to get in trouble but I hate them and they tried to contact me to like do a haul with like their brushes because they saw me do a brand review and I'm like no like your customer service was shit and your brushes are even more shit like I'm gonna take this shade from MAC it's called H-A-U-X and I'm gonna put this on the outer corner of the eye or actually no I'm gonna put this on the inner corner of the eye not the inner corner but like the inner portion like here and I'm just gonna like bring that through the crease as well I really want to use this color from Makeup Geek. It's called Bitten. So I've just grabbed my powder. This is the MAC NC30 Studio Fix. I'm just going to use it on a powder brush. And I'm just going to kind of set everywhere else on my face. Okay, I've tried on a few lip colors and my lips are kind of like really, really chapped now. And they're really, really red because I wasn't able to find a good one. But I think this one is going to work. This is Gerard Cosmetics Iced Mocha. You guys don't even know how many lip colors I was trying to try on, or I tried on, before I got to this one. Oh my god, I got lipstick on my chin. For mascara, I'm going to be using Benefit Roller Lash. I don't think that I'd pay the price for it again, because I do think it's a little bit pricey. But, like, it's not like a terrible mascara, you know? Okay, so there we go. That's what the mascara looks like on my eyelashes. For lashes, I'm going to be using these ones from Model Rock. I have it upside down. These are in the style 463, and they're a little bit more thick than like your standard wispy lashes but i just i saw them on the website and i was in love okay so i just cut them and put like glue on them so i'm just gonna give them a quick shake just for those who are wondering i do use duo lash adhesive i'll be so honest with you guys i never thought in my life that i would be able to wear like thick lashes because like i can only really wear the ones with the thin band like my eye shape just doesn't work with those super super thick like lashes like those super thick lash bands but these are stunning like i never in my life thought that i could wear thick lashes guys so what i've been using recently is the Too faced sweet tea sweethearts bronzing powder i really really like this i just kind of do like a mixture of both and then i just give my brush a little bit of a shake i don't tap it i just shake it and then i'm just gonna go through here 
like kind of where we did the cream contouring. Sorry, I'm looking in the monitor. I just, I can't like hold a mirror and like do this at the same time. I really, really love this bronzer. It's super, super natural looking. I love me a good blush, but I only like like super natural blushes. But I've had this blush on my wish list for ages. It's in the shade Mocha. I haven't used this before. So I'm going to use it today on this Real Techniques like blush brush. Just going to grab a little bit. I feel like that's way too much, but that's okay. And I'm just going to put it on my cheeks. I'm just going to amp up my contour just a little tiny bit using the shade Bad Habit. It's a warm, fair contour from Makeup Geek. I really don't use these powders as much as what I should. They're really, really nice. I'm just going to kind of chisel out that little bit of my cheekbone to make it look like I have cheekbones. So I'm going to use this shade here. It's called Bombshell from the brand Luxy. It's an Instagram brand. I found them on Instagram. I'm just going to take a little bit. I don't know if I have high hopes for this color. I've used a few others and like some of them are more pigmented than others. I'll be honest. Oh my God. This is beautiful. And I feel like with these Luxie highlighters, the more you like buff them in, not add any more product, but just go back and forth, the more like, like, I don't know how to describe it, like more metallic -y they are. Now I'm also going to take a little bit of this MAC Double Gleam. It's an extra dimension skin finish. And I'm just going to take a little bit or a lot. I kind of just use a lot of this because it's not like that pigmented. Not that it's not that pigmented, it's that it doesn't pack a lot of punch unless you have a lot of product. And then I'm just going to bring it up onto my forehead. Just whatever's left over. I don't want it to be super intense there, but I do want it to be some what radiant okay guys so this is the final look i'm super happy with how it all turned out but anyway guys it's about time for me to wrap this video up so i hope you guys enjoyed definitely press that subscribe button down below if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any videos from me because i do upload a few videos a week and yeah i think that's all for me for today so i hope you guys are having a good day and hopefully i'll see you in my next video bye